Now the blades themselves are set into precision ground uh, holders here. These are done on a CNC machine and they are extremely accurate. Going to give you perfect alignment. On top of each blade there are two little Allen screws. Allen uh, screws will just loosen those up. If we can get that in there. There we go. And the blade will just come right out of the machine. Do the other side. And then we now have both blades completely out of the machine. I like to loosen these little Allen screws up here, give me a little bit of extra room to work in there. Then what we have to do is we have to make sure that we clean these very, very thoroughly in here. Any sawdust that might be down in these little precision ground blocks can cause you some problems when it comes time to put the blades back in. So a small brush, compressed air, any of these things will work fine for you and just to make sure that they're absolutely clean. Now what I want to be able to show you is how we actually sharpen the blades. The blades of course are ground on both ends, especially the replacement sets, and they're available in either an M2 tool steer steel or a high speed steel. I tend to like the high speed steel myself, but that's a personal preference. They do seem to hold the edge a lot longer and therefore probably a little bit better. Uh, we also have available drawing on how to make this little sharpening block up. And all it's doing is basically, if you can kind of look at it from the end here, it's just cut at an 8 degree, which is the angle that we have on our blade itself. And what we've done is we put a couple of slots into here so that it'll actually, we can align the blades and hold them into place perfectly. It's going to be a little difficult because I don't want to get my hands in the way. But what I do is I lay it into this cross piece on the 8 degree. Then, of course, when it comes up to the top portion, it's going to be exactly 90 degrees. And I simply use a diamond hone. Uh, this one happens to be an easy lap, but it's just a simple diamond hone. This particular one is a medium grit. I'll either use a medium or a hard grit. Holding these in with my fingers, just simply move the diamond hone back and forth across the blade. And that's about all there is to, to sharpening them. You can check the blade if you didn't get the end properly. Maybe you didn't get that in there far enough just to hold it in there and make sure when you look at it that you've got a nice shiny surface all the way across. If not, just repeat it. And what we're looking for is that nice shiny surface across there. And we can also feel the sharpness from this on the, on the uh, top of it with our thumb. We just simply take the blade, turn it over, and now it works against the opposite side of that slot. And again, we'll just come in here with the diamond hone, sharpen it up. That's done, I'll go to the next blade. Again, it doesn't take a lot. If you keep your blades sharp, it doesn't take a lot to sharpen them up. Where people get into trouble with these is when they run them so they're so dull that they have to take a lot of material off. And that, of course, is going to take a lot of life out of the blades themselves. And it's just that simple. These are now completely sharpened. Now, when it comes to putting the blades back into the machine, the manufacturer supplies or offers this as it's an option. It's a blade setter. It's uh, simply a piece of aluminum that's been machined on a CNC machine, so it's absolutely accurate. It has a magnet set in here. And you'll notice here also that it has a couple of arrowheads on it. And these are for aligning your blades before they go back in the machine. So if you'll take your blade and literally set it on the magnet, line the end of the cutting blade up with this arrow on one side, same thing on the other side, set it on the magnet, line your blades up so that they're properly aligned. This whole assembly is now ready to take back to the machine and go ahead and install in there very accurately. Uh, it's not an absolutely necessary thing to have. It's four inches overall in length. 
Uh, these marks are actually an inch and a half in from each end. And the ends of this, as you'll see when I put it in, I'll show you how this works as a guide. So if you wanted to make your own out, as, out of a block of wood, it's simply four inches long, an inch and a half in from each end with a one inch gap in between the two. And that will actually give you your spacer. The advantage of the magnets you'll see as we put it in holds everything together as a unit. So as I move them back and forth, everything moves as a unit. But it's not absolutely necessary. A lot of people choose to make their own. All right, now we're ready to put the blades back into the machine. Again, I've got them mounted on this little magnetic holder, and they just simply fit right back into the slots, those precision slots we were talking about. Uh, again, the advantage of the magnet being that they'll hold them and everything moves as a, as a unit. Now what we want to be able to do here is with this block, this four inch block, we'll actually line up on both ends of the machine with the cutter mounters themselves, the mounts themselves. So if we just simply line that up on both sides, then we're ready to go ahead. I go in and I just simply tighten these down while I'm holding that securely back in there and just tighten them down finger tightness and that makes sure that it's everything there it is right into place. Uh, again, you see now the importance of being able to get in there and clean those slots up. Now while I'm holding that, and this is a little awkward to do so you can see what you're doing, I'm going to hold that back into place and I'm going to go in here with the Allen wrench and I'm going to tighten one up on this side, come to the opposite side, tighten one up, go back and forth, and just make sure that there's no stress put on the blades which would cause them to come out of shape there. And we just simply take our magnetic jig off and we're done. It's re we're ready to go back into production. And so sharpening and mounting your blades is, is very simple. Uh, don't make it too complicated of a task. It's, it's, it's really, it's, it's, it's a pretty simple thing to do.